we're representing OSA and Logistics, and we, uh, we sell multifunctional printers, scanners, and copiers. And Elizabeth is playing the seller, and uh, Julie is the buyer, and this is kind of a repeat vis uh, visit. And Julie is representing the Del Mar School District, and we're trying to switch, how Julie switched from the NPR 480, which she currently uses, to our IM9220, which is a multifunctional product. And this is a repeat visit. Uh, she did talk to her on the phone, and she got her input of all her information before, so see what happens if she can sell it. Hi, Ms. Town Hall, this is Victoria, I'm from Jose Logistics. How are you? Good, okay. how are you? I'm great. Um, Tom Dunkel from Vista High School District recommended that I can speak to you regarding office equipment. He mentioned that you two know each other? Oh yeah, actually Tom and I go way back. We actually received our teaching credentials together at San Diego State a couple of years back. And also when we were in the market for a pool, we happened to choose the same wonderful pool company, Padre Pools. Oh, that's great. I mentioned to Tom that 8 to 10% of a company's revenues are actually spent on document processing. With OSA Logistics uh, multifunctional products, such as the IM9220, you can cut that cost by 3 to 8%. Wow, that sounds a little too good to be true. Well, you know what? It's good. <laughs> if I could show you today how we can save you both time and money using OSA Logistics multifunctional products, would you be willing to do business with me today? Well, I can't make any promises, but what exactly is the IM9220? That's a great question, but before we get into that, I just need to ask you a, a few quick, simple um, questions regarding your current office equipment. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, um, when you talked previously on the phone, you had mentioned that you use the Xerox DC40, is that correct? Yeah, that's correct. Did you know that that um, product is currently discontinued from the United States, the Xerox did away with it? No, I didn't know that. Yeah, it's true. And um, how long have you had that product for? Um, I think probably about five years. Five years? Okay. And also, I was just wondering, what would be your top two or three criteria when you're investing in multifunctional? Um, I'd have to say my top three criteria would be productivity, cost, and service. Okay. And what were some of the reasons that you switched to your present supplier from your previous one? Well, basically it all came down to customer service. Um, our machines are kind of going down uh, lately, and it's basically they just weren't providing effective enough customer service. Um, it's just a little inconvenient um, when our machines are down and we don't get to do the copies that we need, and they need to resort into having all our uh, copies made at Kinko's. That's a common problem, actually. And um, I was wondering, are you receiving all the benefits that you anticipated with your current office equipment? Um, I guess we do. Well, don't you want to be 100% sure that you're receiving all the benefits that you paid for when investing in a multifunctional product or a copier? Well, of course. Okay. Now, you had mentioned earlier that one of your top criteria is cost. Now, do the schools in your district send out documents to be finished, such as like booklets or large quantities of copies? Well, actually, we do. We send out um, anything when the school has uh, student performances or back to school nights or anything. Or even when we do parent newsletters, we send those out to be finished and to him what look like. Okay, that must um, cost the school a great deal of time and money. Um, I guess. Actually, it does. It does? Okay. And um, I was wondering, would it be important to you to reduce those costs or eliminate them completely? Actually, that would be really nice. Yeah. <laughs> and another one of your criteria is productivity. Mm -hmm. Now, you mentioned before that you have to send out documents to be finished since your current equipment can't um, do that. Now, wouldn't it be nice to have one machine that can satisfy all your copying and printing needs in one convenient, easy location? Yeah, yeah. that would be great. That would take a lot of stress out of the office. And you mentioned your third criteria was, um, <laughs> was service. Mm -hmm. How often does your current machine need repairs? Mm, I think lately it's been going down, I'd say every two weeks. Oh, really? Yeah. And um, what's the average response time when you're calling for service? Mm -hmm. I'd say up to sometimes six hours, but sometimes it takes over a day. And is that acceptable to you? Um, not really, actually. Um, we really rely on our copier because we, like you said before, I mean, we make a lot of copies in our school. Um, three to five hour response time is, is okay, but sometimes when they take over a day, I think that's unacceptable. Okay, I totally understand. Um, I was also wondering, would it be nice for you to have a machine that maybe might break down once a year instead of twice a month? Oh, of course. It, of course it would. Now, you also mentioned um, that you guys uh, produce booklets and parent newsletters. Like, are any of those confidential? Um, parent newsletters and, you know, student performance books, you know, those aren't confidential. But anything like student report cards that have social security numbers or just their student files, anything with that sort of private information, those would be confidential, but why about a parent? 
it's important because did you know most publishers actually store confidential information and then when outs outsiders come in to the office they can actually um, look at your students confidential records well that's the first time i've heard of that and wouldn't you feel better knowing that all your students information is um, stored um, can't be accessed by outsiders excuse me of course <laughs> and if i could show you a way today to reduce your cost while increasing productivity and security while providing superior customer service, would you be willing to do business with those same logistics today? Well, I need to know a little bit more about the cost, but I'm open to the idea. Okay. Um, and now I'm just going to tell you a little bit about the features and benefits of the IM9220 that you receive once you purchase the new machine. Okay. Um, the IM9220 produces 92 pages per minute, and it has a first out copy of 3.1 seconds. Okay. It's fast efficiency without um, sacrificing the quality of your output. Now, actually, is it okay if I scoot close to you? Yeah, go for it. Here is the brochure on the IM9220. Oh, okay. I've highlighted the key specifications that I think um, the school district will actually benefit the most from. Okay. from. I actually highlighted uh, some of them, but as you can see here, there's like 100 of them. Mm -hmm. I just want to show you that I think you guys would actually benefit most from these. Can you see how that would save you a great deal of time? Actually, that would. That would free up a lot of time, you know, just for me and even the office <coughs> assistance to do the other work that needs to be done. Okay. And also you mentioned earlier that you guys need to send out um, finishing um, for booklets and stuff for parent newsletters and student mm -hmm. performances. Yeah. Um, the IM9220 can actually um, create booklets for you up to 80 pages. That's a lot. I don't know if Kinko's can do that for you. Um, this is actually a copy um, of a booklet that was actually printed on it. It was Majestic's machine. Okay. Um, do you think the quality compares to Kinko's? Um, yeah, it's definitely comfortable with that. And this, um, I'll let you keep this book because it shares our corporate overview and the services we provide, since oh. we'll just talk about it for you today. Um, also, by printing booklets at the office, you can save time and money. You're going to save time since, um, money and time since you, <laughs> excuse me, um, since your employees won't have to pick up the booklet at Kinko's anymore. Mm -hmm. Now, do you know exactly how much the booklet is at Kinko's, what you guys paid for it? Mm -hmm. I'd have to say it's probably around 40 cents a booklet, but they also do give us a discount from your school district. Right? Okay, and would you say, would it be fair to say that each school orders around 3,000 booklets, you know, each time you need the booklets? Well, I'd say it's probably even more than that. Well, you, we'll just use 3,000 for this example. Okay. So if it's 40 cents a booklet times 3,000 um, booklets, that's $1,200. And let's just say that each school district, or each school in the district orders twice a year. That's $2,400. That's a lot of money. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Do you think that would meet the uh, criteria of productivity? Yeah, yeah, saving you money? Actually, when you put it that way, it does sound like we'd be saving quite a bit of money. And service was another criteria you mentioned. Mm -hmm. I'd like to go over a few of our service features that I want to point out to you. And these are just some of the features. We actually provide many more, like I uh, pointed out earlier. Oh, okay. Now, on page 10 right here is our value added maintenance system. We call it the VAMS, the acronym. And I just want to share with you right here that um, what's cool about it is it's a preventative maintenance service. Okay. And if you want to go back and read this, it's on page 10. So each technician performs a 100-point inspection to correct problems before they occur. You can see that in the bullet point. Okay. In addition, we provide a digital hotline for our customers to call if a problem occurs. And what's cool about the hotline is that it's equipped with local support so that they can come and um, meet your needs in a timely manner. So I know you mentioned that um, that was one of your issues with your previous supplier. Oh, okay. And also what's really cool is that there's a nice national diagnostic center that you can call and it will remotely access your equipment so a technician doesn't even have to come service your machine. They can do it remotely and that works 95% of the time. As you can read right here too, in case the remote uh, system doesn't work, we'll actually send the technician and our average response rate is four hours. We're compared to the, um, your previous supplier with six hours. But don't you agree that these features would eliminate some of your service problems? Actually, that sounds really good. I mean, four hours is definitely, a, you know, shorter than the average response time we're seeing from our current provider. Um, but I'm still not really sure if you guys about this machine. Okay. I understand what you're saying, but did you also mention that <coughs> confidentiality was a type priority to you? Um, yeah. Here's a copy of the Sarbanes Oxley Act. I don't know if you want to read this with me too. Okay. But the act states that organizations have to contain, con, control um, their documents, such as paper, electronic files, um, to ensure business responsibility. And since schools are funded by the federal government, you would fall under this. Okay. And the IM9220 provides department codes, which only you and your staff will be able to um, access, so no outsiders can see their confidentiality. And you also um, restrict printing to certain materials. Oh, okay. 
you and your staff would never have to worry about your students' confidentiality um, being seen. And would this eliminate the worries you have about security? Um, actually, yeah, it would. But you know, I do have a question though. Um, I just recently found out that Pitney Bowes just sold those video statistics. I mean, do you think this is going to have an impact on your products and services? No, I don't. The design company is, um, a, they're known for high quality and they're known as a good company. I would understand if um, there was a negative connotation set, a step, um, attached to that company, but it's not. And OSE, the reason they acquired Imagistics last November was to help the company, and that's the same reason why they acquired it too, because their growth rate was like 5.6%. Oh. And so I think we're just going to keep growing because we're such a great company. Obviously, people know that by acquiring us. Oh, that's good. No, is that okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. And now I'm going to show you how you can save both time and money. Okay. Um, we have a thing called the DORA, not DORA, <laughs> but it's called a Document Outsource Re uh, Resource assessment, assessment. We do this for all our companies just to show you exactly the amount of money that you will be saving with us. Okay. So I'm going to show you. Now, as we talked earlier about how to do the meeting, the meter readings for all three um, copiers for your school district. Yes. Uh -huh. And so I averaged those out just to be simple. And your average copies were 80,732 a month, which is pretty high volume. And now um, your current office equipment I looked up, which is the Xerox CC480, is 0 .007 cents per copy. Now, when you multi multiply that together, it's $565.12 that you're spending every month. Mm -hmm. Now, down here, you can see with the new model Imagistics, the IM9220, it's .0044 cents um, per page. And that will give you a cost of $355.22. Okay. Now, down here in the green, you can see that your monthly savings would be $209.90. But when you add that up for the whole year, it's $2,518.80. <laughs> can you imagine what you would do with that money for the school? Well, that actually does come out to a lot of money, and we could probably buy a lot of uh, needed school supplies with that. And here's also an extended value system, a value analysis. Right here in this column, it says the monthly maintenance cost. Mm -hmm. And since you have um, three machines at each, or one machine at each school, mm -hmm. it's 371, 770, and 707 uh, for your monthly lease cost, uh, monthly maintenance cost, excuse me. And then your lease is right here. It's around 842, 596, and 607. So when you total those both up, it's a total of $3,895.02. Now down here in the second um, column is with the IM9220. Okay. If you want to compare the price in this column for monthly maintenance cost, it would be $322.15, and $364.28, and $379.24. Mm -hmm. Now when you add that up, your cost per month would be $2,599.33. Now right here, this line, the monthly savings would be $1,295.69. And down here is the total you'd save for a whole year. When it adds up, it's $15,548.28. Wow. I don't know if you want to look at that closer. It's kind of it's amazing. That's a lot of money. That would be kind of be saving. <laughs> now, you'd be ordering um, one unit for each school, correct? That's correct. Normally, the price for one IM9220 is $35,000. Well, that kind of sounds like a lot of money. And we understand that. We understand that your um, schools are funded by state and local government, so we actually give you guys a price break. So instead of paying $105,000 for three units, we actually only charge you $70,000. So it's like you're getting three for the price of two. Wow. <laughs> That's awesome. But $70,000 just kind of still sounds like a lot of money. Well, let me break it down for you. If the total investment per hour to own the IM9220 would be $8 a month. Now you mentioned before your office staff goes out to Kinko's to run errands and um, pick up the documents. How much do they make an hour? Um, I think we make them $14 an hour. 14 Yeah. Okay. So you would be saving even more money using the IM9220 because you wouldn't have to pay your office staff to run to Kinko's and also to sit by your copy machine because this one produces up to 90 pages a minute. Yeah. And it has 6,000 um, papers inside of it. So that would just save you even more money. Um, so now I'd like to talk to you, oh, sorry. the IM9220 would do that for you in addition to all of the benefits we discussed. Does this sound great to you? Wow, that, that does sound great. That would be awesome. But you know what, I'm, I'm still just a little concerned. Um, I, I just, you know, I just don't think I have the really good time to make this decision right now. Okay, and I still wanted to show you a picture up close if she couldn't be with you today. Oh, okay. Um, you know what, I totally understand. Tom thought the same way, but when he saw the benefits and the features of the machine, mm -hmm. obviously he re um, strongly um, recommended it. Well, that is true. I, I do know Tom very well. And if he does feel strongly about the quality um, and the efficiency of the product, I, I truly believe that it, it is good quality. And uh, what other concerns do you have? 
Um, well, I think the specifications of the size of the unit is just a little kind of questionable. You know what, the IM 9220 is a large machine. I also brought a poster for you. And I do agree with you on that, but you have to remember that the DC-480 only copies, whereas this would copy, print, and scan for you while making those booklets that you so desperately need and that you don't want to go to Kinko's anymore. Now, is it purchasing the machine that meets your top criteria, criteria for having? Yeah, I love it is. Um, it would actually take a lot of uh, the burden off the people in the office trying to run the Kinko's and that. Precisely. Mm -hmm. Um, but you know what, I, I'm also a little concerned. It, it, it is kind of big and it looks a little complicated. Uh -huh. So what you're saying is that you don't think your staff would be able to operate it easily? Yes. <laughs> okay, well, OSA Logistics actually provides training to all your employees. We really feel strongly that efficient training comes with teaching staff how to use it correctly. And also, when people know how to use it correctly, they don't need service repairs so much. Oh, okay. Yeah, that'd actually be really helpful. Wouldn't it? Of course. Now that we've evaluated some of your concerns, are you ready to take um, take a look at the order form that I brought? Um, well, you know what, I, I, I'm just not quite sure right now. What are some of the concerns you're having? Well, honestly, I, I just, I think it's just a little out of our price range right now. Okay. I can totally understand your hesitation. Um, but like I said before, you're getting three IM9220s for the price of two. Mm -hmm. With this extra money, can you even imagine all the school supplies you can buy for your students? That would be a lot. Well, what price range did you have in mind? Well, I was kind of hoping for um, maybe just a thousand dollar price break on each of the machines. I think that would just bring us down to our price range. Okay, and if I could show you today how you could actually save more than a thousand dollars per machine once you purchase, would you be willing to do business with us today? Yeah, I don't see why not. As we discussed before, your monthly um, maintenance fees are a thousand sixty-five dollars. Okay. Now, with every OSA Logistics multifunctional product, you would receive six months of free service. So when you multiply that together by six months, it'd be six thousand three hundred ninety-four dollars and two cents. Does this solve your con uh, financial concerns? Um, actually, yeah, it does. But I, you know, I'm still just not sure if it's gonna meet our needs or if there's just too much going on that it's just gonna be too much. <coughs> well, suppose I can give each school in the district um, a free one-week trial. My technician will be in your area next Monday, and I was just wondering what would be a good time for him to come and install them. Wow, that would be great. Um, I'd say probably around eight a.m. Okay, so to recap, when you um, do purchase the IM9220, it will reduce your cost by increasing productivity and security so that you can have that weight lifted off your shoulders about your student's confidentiality being looked at by outsiders. So I'll just fill out this order form for three IM9220, which you only paid for okay. two, and I would just like you to look over this to make sure everything is perfect. Okay. And if I could just have, have you sign right here on the X. Oh, okay. And I promise to get back to you next Friday after your one week trial is finished just to see how you're doing and if there's any other questions or concerns. We really care about you liking the machine and make sure it's going to fit your needs. Yeah, that sounds great. Thank you very much. Thanks. Have a great day.